Well, tonight we are asking questions as our planet is under a geomagnetic storm watch all day. And joining me now is the president and CEO of the Dayton Society of Natural History, Tracy Tommy. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. So what is this storm <laughs> and does it have any effect at all on the planet? I think I told you a little bit ago, I saw it, it was like trending on Twitter and some of us have never even heard of this. So what, what exactly is this that we're talking about? So they happen all the time. It's a geomagnetic storm, as you said, which if you look at the sun using like solar glasses or something, a safe way of viewing, you can actually see right now today solar spots, sunspots on the sun. And each one of those tiny little black dots is really a giant storm. And these storms spew out like tons of electrically charged particles. So those particles come flying towards Earth if the solar spot, the storm is aimed right at Earth, otherwise they go off in different directions. But if it's aimed just right, it can come towards Earth hit our atmosphere, takes about 18 minutes to get here. They're traveling five million miles, or sorry, 18 hours, and they're traveling five million miles per hour to get here. When they get to the atmosphere, you've seen like a magnet, how it has like these magnetic fields. Mm -hmm. So the Earth does too. So these particles will go towards the two poles of the Earth. So Antarctic, Arctic, and they'll line up there, which is why you see most of the activity of the particles, the charged particles from the sun reacting with particles in our atmosphere happening near the poles. And what does that look like? How does it manifest itself? Like, what are they seeing there? So what you're seeing is these uh, different particles, these charged particles, uh, depending, they ha it happens all the time, but not to this magnitude. So if you think of like a fluorescent light bulb, mm -hmm. the particles, react with oxygen and nitrogen and form these different colors that then you see in the atmosphere. And so then you see what we call an aurora or the northern lights. And so, and we're looking at images now maybe of like yeah. somewhat of what that would look like. And so here in the Miami Valley, we're probably not gonna see anything like this. No, we're probably not. Okay. Um, <laughs> and we're probably happy that we're not. So it's on my bucket list to see an aurora or the northern lights at some point, but I would like to travel farther north to be able to do that. Um, when the storms are so strong that we're getting, we can see the northern lights in Dayton, it's going to be really severe. It's going to be a lot. And that could actually interfere with radio and TV transmissions. So you would notice that here at your station. It would have an impact. It could even like uh, disrupt our electric grid. So we might not have electricity. We would have outages. Okay. My last question is, if where's the closest place here that you could travel to, to see this? And when you say this happens all the time, how often are we talking? So the sun has a solar cycle of about 11 years between peaks, and we are in a peak right now. Um, you would need to travel north. How far north? I don't know exactly. Sure. I don't know. This is a moderate storm. Mm -hmm. um, but during the solar eclipse, we may be able to see some of these flares, and we should be able to see some of the sunspots if you're in a place that has like an astronomer or a solar telescope. Um, and then, you know, it'll in about 11 years, we'll have another peak. So we're in a peak and we have an eclipse. So there's a lot of cool things happening. If you want to try to see the northern lights tonight, um, if you're in a super dark area, if you're like under a lot of ambient lighting from outside lights, you're never going to see anything. But if you're in a super dark area and you can look north, you have a chance okay. that you could see <laughs> something. Always yeah. things going on I around us that, try, that right? we know nothing about. Yeah, it is worth, a, worth try. a try. <laughs> Tracy Tommy, the president and CEO of the Dayton Society of Natural History. Thank you so much for joining Absolutely. us to break this down tonight. Thank you.